thought to say. Let's see how this comes out. Okay, guys, here I have my oils. They're already <coughs> nice and warm. I have here my milk powder, which I am going to add. I always add my milk powder to my oils. I never, I don't see the point of doing it separate. It's the same thing, well, for me. Oh, this way I was supposed to add my charcoal into this. This is um, 40 ounces of, of oils. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. It's just, I have so many things in my mind. But this is active charcoal. I got this one at Walmart. I'm sorry. I got this at Amazon. I'm so sorry. I have so many things in my head right now. But this is the one that I'm using. I actually really like it a lot. It's like the second time I buy it. This is my lye water, and it's just regular lye water, water and lye. Let's see all of this. Is... Oils. It's cocoa butter, shea butter, olive oil, coconut oil, and castor oil. There we go. Got them all. <laughs> this is my soap scraps with popping seeds that I like to mix into my mixture. It gives you a really, really good bar and it exfoliates really, really good. It gives you like a nice, um, when you're in the shower, it kind of like, I like the way it feels. Because it gives you that extra exfoliating roughness when you're in the shower. Said I like the way it feels. Yeah, I think they're all mixed up together. Now, 
into the mold. I'm doing one and a half because the other half will be with the white. So it will be the same. It's just that one will have, it will be all black and the other one will be black and white. It's going to be awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. Let's see. Sorry. I'm not a left-handed or whatever you want to call it. I'm a righty, so I have to kind of do it this way. top now I'm gonna cover this up with some plastic just to add some there we go this should be good right there <sighs> alcohol never forget your alcohol And cover it up. Cover, cover, cover. This thing. Once I unmold these, I will bring it back. You can see how beautiful they look. Oh, I think they look beautiful. Now I'm gonna put these in my oven. I believe it's at 170 degrees and I'm just gonna leave it there overnight. See you for the cutting.